Looking back. It's a great feeling. It's a good feeling, and I hope it lasts. Because <laughs> the way the league is today, um, you know, you could be on the top one day, in the middle of the next, and three days later, you could be on the bottom. So we're just trying to stay at the top where we are now. Eight games in, and they're in the top three. Heady heights indeed for coach Mike Burton. He's never seen his side finish outside the bottom three, so he's happy to smile at the doubters. I don't mind that. I mean, I think we are surprising people. We haven't surprised ourselves, but we are surprising other people. You know, they seem to think of us as a bit of a Cinderella team. How exciting is this time for the Chester Jets? Well, it's very exciting. I mean, I've been in basketball 26 years, but I've never had a team like this before. And uh, I'm just going to hope that we can keep it going. This season's rule changes, five Americans per side, now mean the Jets profit from the likes of Singleton and fellow countryman Russ Saunders. But does homegrown talent suffer? Apparently not. Far from being stifling, the experience Saunders brings has provided nothing but encouragement for local players. I'm learning a lot personally. I mean, I, there's a lot of talented English players that aren't playing in the Budweiser League this year. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be playing there, and I'm playing against some, well, it's the best standard that's ever been over here, and I'm learning, I'm, I'm probably playing the best basketball I've ever played now. And if Billy Singleton maintains his current average of 18 points a game, well, who knows? Maybe Chester can shake off that unfashionable tag for good. For the Jets, takeoff time could be fast approaching.